And here we are. This is the actual Acropolis with a bit of reinforcement so it doesn't fall over. But that's pretty impressive. Let's take a look around the side. First, let's see me next to Acropolis. Woo! This is pretty cool. And my beautiful daughters here are adding commentary. <laughs> but look at that, guys. Like, that's ancient history right there. Yeah. Then on the other side, we have some other structures. Not nearly as complete over there as well. But like I said, let's walk around the other side of Acropolis. Now, the, the road, the road, the flooring here is quite uneven. So I have to be careful where I'm stepping. Or else I twist an angle. Uh, let me get the side here. All right. So now this is the nice pavement, which is safer to walk on. Okay, here we go. That is the side of the Acropolis. Now there's another building over here. I'm not sure what they call that, but it's much smaller and less grand than this. among the crowd of other people who are trying to view Acropolis. <laughs> Here is the Parthenon being restored, but most of it intact. It's very impressive, very large. This is the most impressive thing I've seen in Greece so far. So in comparison, me, little old me, I mean, I can't walk up to the Parthenon. They prevent you from going right into it. But uh, I guess you can't tell how big it is from this view. But it's big. I tell you, if you're here in person, you feel like a little ant. Not an ant, but, you know, a miniature figurine uh, in front of this massive stone structure. So let's continue walking around it. Uh, there's some cranes inside, which kind of lose the authenticity. That isn't a 4,000-year-old scaffolding. So let's just uh, have our suspension of disbelief as we look at this historical monument of the Parthenon. Here is the Parthenon from the other side. Grand restoration efforts. Now, Greece was founded in 1833, and restoration began a year after 1834. They've been restoring this since then, <laughs> in bits and pieces, but this is not a very fast process, apparently. They try to use as much of the original stone as possible, but they have to bring in new marble and new construction material. But still, I would say it looks quite authentic from what I understand of what the Parthenon should have been when it was originally built. Pretty impressive. Yep. Now this is a proper theater stadium. I didn't expect it to be so grand. Look at that massive wall entrance. And I have my daughter next to me giving me commentary. Hi, no! <laughs> and this is grand. That's actually more people than I expected would fit in this one place. All right, this is me at the Acropolis Coliseum Theater Gymnasium. What do you call it? Pretty cool. And with the city behind it, that's Athens. over there. All right. This is a slightly different vantage of the same theater slash coliseum slash gymnasium. No, not gymnasium. Just for plays down there. Pretty cool. Here we are at the base of the Acropolis. 
This is the theater that they used, one of the early theaters to show plays and drama with people watching. And we're gonna go inside that big structure very soon. We had to pay 80 euros to access this place, which is 20 euros per adult and 10 euros per kid. So better be worth it. <laughs> so these are some ancient ruins. I'm sure they've been here a very long time, but they do look maintained. They have some construction going on right there. I'm sure that's not 4,000 year old scaffolding. All right, let's go inside. Below us is that first theater we saw when we were approaching Acropolis. And that is the rest of Athens. Down there are some more stones and restoration. And then the whole city in front of us. Here is a nice view of Athens. Below us, we're at the Parthenon at the Acropolis, very high hill, it's like a castle, overlooking the city of Athens. Now, here's the Parthenon. Actually, you can't really see it, it's behind that tree. Uh, there's a little bit of it. But we'll go have a look as we go around this whole area and explore it completely. Very nice. Yeah, I'm here with my four daughters and my beautiful wife. But my wife is uh, taking her own time, so she's not with us. <laughs> and daughters, Daenerys, Evie, Dad, Kira, Dad, and where did Abby go? Dad. Where did Abby go? Where did Abby go? Abby disappeared. Abby's somewhere. Okay. Let's continue. That is the Olympian where we were yesterday. And it's a far cry from this. Acropolis, uh, the Parthenon on the Acropolis. And there really isn't anything here with the Acropolis or the Parthenon in the city. So, yeah, if you come to Greece, definitely come here. Here is an unobstructed view of Athens from the peak of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is built. So that's the Parthenon, and this is the city of Greece all around us. Here. And here, panoramic view. It's quite impressive, guys. It's definitely worth the trip have this experience, I think. Yes. This is a viewpoint from the Acropolis. We can see all of Greece below us and the mountainside. And then Acropolis is right over here. The big mountain fortress up there is Acropolis. And this is me getting ready to go into Acropolis. Pretty beautiful. I mean, the scenery behind me. Acropolis is just one big rock, but hopefully it's beautiful inside. Let's go have a look. <laughs> 